Hi guys, the Drain slash Lawrence Wayne here, and um, I have a new demonstration to show you. So I basically finished the GUI systems, well almost. I still have tick boxes to go, but besides that, it's just about done. I mean, pop up boxes. So I have sliders working, for example. As you can see in this demonstration, you can move the sliders around. Uh, the blue one goes from 0 to 100. So that's, well, it's almost 100. It's like a pixel off. And you can slide it to numbers in between 8, 69, whatever. This one is a byte, so it goes from 0 all the way to 255. And this purple one is just a screen coordinates, raw. And this little save button over here puts the values on the screen, whatever the slider's value may be. There. So that's it for the sliders. But the real reason I'm recording this is because I have this fancy app over here. I tried to polish it a little. I worked on this for like two days. It's a grid generating program for LFS. So you slide these little sliders. It take a little longer because there's a lot of codes doing. And you choose the grid size. So the x distance between the little lines and the y distance. So you do a 15 by 15 grid. It'll predict how much x and y blocks that'll be. So it'll be 20, 21 blocks across, like that, and 14 blocks down. So if I put draw, yeah, I'm not counting that, but let's try something larger, say 50 by 50, 6 across, 4 down, this is full blocks by the way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that's pretty accurate, obviously, and here's some presets, tap 16 by 16, and 32 by 32 and it renders those grid sizes for you or of course these custom slider things set the custom value now this is about a hundred lines of code in a fancy UUI is lots and lots and lots of comments in the code I have the code right over here if my phone will focus on it so here we have the variables the sliders and the two buttons and uh, a whole lot of code this massive wall of text right over here makes this pretty interface all the text and buttons you see here besides the part at the bottom and because there's no loops implemented yet only the void loop thing uh, I managed to squeeze everything in here with a mode system. So, uh, I'll post this code so you can look at it yourself, get a feel for how the LOS or L code thing works. I'll put a text version so you can like edit it with your own text editor. And I'll make a picture version or try to make a picture version which has the highlighting and the green yellow colors and stuff. So as you can see if I scroll all the way down it's 113 lines of code and yeah so another reason I made this is to test the grid size for my game engine that I'm going to put on here because I need a certain grid size and 16 by 16 looks a little too small and the little box is way too small, the grid's way too big. Um, or 32 by 32 grid, which in my opinion is teeny bit big. But this is better than the for 16 by 16. Yeah, these buttons aren't very reliable and glitchy. I tried to fix them, but instead I managed to make them worse, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna erase the code for that and rewrite that. Hopefully working this time. 
So, uh, I kind of discovered 20 by 20 looks good. I'm trying to look at the camera, not the actual screen. Makes this quite hard. So, 20 by 20 grid. That is still a bit small, I guess. 25. Also, you don't have to do equal values. I've just noticed every demo I did is equal values. You can do that or like even like tiny no ones. Yeah, that's too small. Ish. That kind of demonstrating this thing, Majig. So I'm trying to figure out the grid size. You can give a suggestion of what the grid should be. This is a 320 by 240 screen, and then there's this little bar at the top. I'm not exactly sure how high that was. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Also, the background picture is provided by. I don't remember his name. Skull Kill? Skull Kill, that was it. So, the background picture we just saw there was one of them that he provided. He also provided this one. Oh well, you can actually see it on my phone recording the screen better than you can in real life. Because the screen actually looks very dark to me. The camera somehow manages to make it look better than it looks for me for once. How does it do that? Well, anyway, it, it's usually too dark to see, so I'm using this one instead, even though I think the other one's a little cooler. Just provide an alternative version of that over here, but I don't really like the grey. It kind of looks okay on my phone, again, but the grey colour in reality doesn't look as cool. So... Uh, he also provided an alternative version of this one, but it hardly looks different. So I'm just chose a random one, I don't even know which one this is. Well, LOS1 or LOS1 alternative. But anyway, getting carried away. So um, here's the code again, it'll be in the link, the link to the description for this. So if you want to look at it, see how it works, give comments, suggestions. Or maybe even you can modify it or make your own program with this and, um, you know, give it to me and I'll compile and run it on LOS. Just like this background. Because someone just, hey, like, I'll make some backgrounds for you. And I'm like, okay. And there you go. So if you want to make apps and you want to see it run on the real thing, I'll be happy to run them and compile them. And if you make an error, I'll fix it. It's heavily commented, as you can see, it's like a comment on every second line, if not less, you know, it's like every single line. But uh, yeah, that's it, I'm getting a bit carried away, and this video is getting kind of long, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Um, so again, you can look at that code, or you can give a suggestion for the grid size in the game engine, because I'm just about done with the GUI functions. And, um, yeah, bye.